If I call the emergency services, police ambulance or fire brigade, for example, I expect a well-trained, competent person, officer, to turn up and aid me in the manner in which I request. All I care about is their professionalism, the fact they have the right equipment and they're able to do the job that's expected of them. Police, arrest somebody, fire, put a fire out, ambulance, save a life. That's it. That's where the money should be going to. That's where the expenses should go to and that's how the training should be funded. I get really pissed off with all this virtue signalling nonsense, as we call it, whereby they're more worried about inclusivity and being seen to be doing the right thing rather than get on with the job. The Met have been guilty of it with all their radio adverts, the NHS to an extent, and now the Fire Brigade as well. How do everybody? Welcome back to the channel for a Sunday. Hope you're doing all right. I'm not too bad. Not too bad. Let me know how your day's going to go in the comments below. And I uh, hope you have a good one. Well, yes, the fire brigade. Let me just explain something. You know, fire, fire brigades, they have these shiny red fire engines that turn up. And the general idea is some heroic fireman is going to be there to save the day. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's all good. And all we really care about is that they highly trained, good at their job, and they will do what's needed. Well, apparently now they seem to think that it's very important to uh, paint their fire engines in, uh, you know, multicolored LGBTQ2 plus whatever the bloody acronym is now, and uh, send those out instead. I mean, look at this, you know, uh, it, it looks like a rainbow on four wheels, and does it do anything for me? No, it doesn't. The, uh, the crew inside that vehicle, competent, that's all I care about. Now, he, all of this uh, painting is done at the expense of the taxpayer, you know, 17,000 quid of taxpayers' money has gone to paint these engines in LGBT rainbow colours, it's ridiculous. Uh... The fire chiefs of, uh, you know, the fire brigades have ratified this by saying it's part of an inclusivity and recruitment drive. And it, it's been ongoing since 2017. Me personally, I don't care. I just care about well-trained firemen who can do the job and save my life if necessary. I mean, some of the statistics here, Oxfordshire Fire and Rescue Service spent 4,300 quid and shelled out uh, 3,390 pound. That was Dorset and Wiltshire that shelled that out. Suffolk, uh, they spent 2,284 pounds on a design incorporating a rainbow, uh, and an FOI request showed that. And a third of 35,000 pounds has been spent on rainbow merchandise such as flags and all that sort of thing. It, it's ridiculous, you know. If we're paying our taxes and we expect these services to be provided to us, i.e. to save our life, no, it should be spent on training and equipment and everything else, not painting them in bloody rainbows. You know, I respect everyone has their view, I respect everybody's, you know, beliefs in their own self, but to ram it down the throats of all of us in this way, in the event of inclusive, I'm afraid I, I can't get on this, I, I really can't. You know, that £17,000 could have been better spent uh, painting them red fire engines so they're recognised and also training the people to use them and the equipment and to save people's lives. I mean, surely that's what it's all about at the end of the day. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comments. Doodaloo.